walk like this, talk like this, look like this, you could never uh -uh. Bad red bone from the south, riding round, hitting licks with a yellow huh. Bitch so bad when I walk past, nigga sing my name, acapella huh. Hey love, so as you guys can see, I will be talking about the new iPhone 11s But before I get started, I wanted to do a walk down memory lane Of course, you guys remember all the iPhones that Apple dropped, starting with the 3GS the 4S, the 5S, the 6, 6 Pluses, the 7 Pluses, the 8s, the X, the XS, the XRs, and the Max. Now here we are in 2019 and Apple is launching their new iPhone 11s and we're supposedly, rumors have it, that we're going to have 5G finally. New colors and things like that when it comes to the XR, supposedly with the Maxes and things like that. So I'm going to share some of my research with you guys because you guys know I'm obsessed with Apple products. And of course, you guys know anytime a new iPhone drop, it's going to have the latest software, new updated, which is the iOS 13, new colors, purples, greens, Supposedly a new pink. I would love a hot pink phone if Apple were to drop it. But like I said, these are just rumors, different concepts, speculations, and things like that. So the iPhone 11 rumors are kicking in high gear, you guys. And these are some of the concepts that I have ran across and I want to share them with you guys. Now, if this is the new body style of the phone, I will say I'm a tad bit disappointed because that big bevel that's sticking out at the back is going to be the camera, which we'll talk about the camera later in this video. So if that's the design, I'm a little bit disappointed, but if these are the new colors, then big pick up to Apple for, you know, stepping up the color game in the new iPhone 11 that's supposed to drop. Now, like I said, I'm not impressed with the design, but this particular design I'm loving because as you guys can see, it's more of a sleek flat surface. And of course, you guys know that the camera is supposed to be triple rear camera, which is going to be amazing, okay? Which is the biggest rumor out so far, which is the center around the triple rear camera, which means, of course, hopefully, a bigger battery with supposedly reverse wireless charging and a fast charging inside of the box, which means you won't have to go out and purchase a faster charger. It will also come in the box. Also, the top rumors I've heard so far that have been on the wish list is the finger scanner. Now, of course, you guys was complaining about, you know, the home button not being on the device, but Apple supposedly have heard you guys and they're supposed to put a finger sensor inside of the screen so everyone's happy. So as you guys say, I am excited about the new colors. I'm not a fan of the lime green, but the purple definitely pops. As you guys can see, the lime green pops as well. It just pops a little too much for my liking. Now, you guys have seen the leak for the iPhone 11 in case we're going to show what looks like to be a large square cutout for the three lenses on the back of the handset, which is basically a polarizing look, which has not been confirmed, you guys, yet. But new reports that the iPhone 11 will have the three rear cameras which means a new lens will take ultra-wide photos. Even better, the software in the phone will be reportedly smart enough for people to put, you know, um, cases on their phone, and it still looks very sleek, but I'm not sure about that from looking at this big, huge cutout. But like I said, we can only hope. The new iPhone 11 is supposed to be released around September, um the 13th between the 20th i know most of the time when i receive my iphone i usually get it around september the 22nd now back to 
the fingerprint scanner that's supposed to cover the whole screen. Now, supposedly that's gonna be on the XR2, which could get a camera upgrade with the latest rumor suggesting that it will have a boost lens. Um, but because it has the LCD, as far as the display, they're not gonna get as much of an upgrade as far as the camera design is put out there into the public with leaks and things like that. Now, inside of the phone, what will we have inside of the device that will make it worth you going out to purchase the device? Will it have a bigger and better um, battery life? You know, sometimes you get these new devices and we're told that they're gonna have a bigger and better battery life, but will it be that way when you get your phone and take it home and use it? For 24 hours will you have to charge this device up every four to five hours like some time i have to do with my max if i'm running it all day long using it for business and thing of that nature will the camera on the 11 be a better camera than on the 10 right now as far as the max you guys know the back camera is amazing it's only the front camera that makes you look photoshop so we will see, you know, in the new devices that will drop, will they finally listen to people who hated the front facing camera on the Max? As far as the XR, you guys know they had a variety of colors to come out and their phones were more affordable. I feel like Apple kind of shortchanged us because the XR were more affordable, but they had more options as far as colors are concerned. With the Max, we only had, you know, the basic colors. I feel like with the phone costing over $1,000 and can go all the way up to $1,500 if you were to go with the higher gigabyte, which is $1,500 plus. I feel like they should have given us a larger um, range as far as colors are concerned. Now, I will let you guys see the different color concepts and different looks of the phones and what's supposed to be um, leaked out from people in a larger division when it comes to Apple products and phones and launching and things of that nature. Now, I do know that the phone, the 11, is supposed to have 5.8 inches of screen. It's supposed to have a nine millimeter thick um, layer because of the camera bulk but you guys if you guys take a look at this display right here that I'm showing you guys I'm trying to get as much angle as I can you guys see there's no bevel at the back there's no big swear cut out because to me this looks more of a clean look it's more sleek it's just it just gives the phone a better look to have a flat surface of a camera than to have the big bulky camera as you guys saw in the design in previous clips that i've showed you guys now who knows will apple come out with this design or will they come out with the other design we have no clue um you know when it comes to led sensors and things like that you know it just depends on what apple is able to do now who knows but the iphone 11 max you know for now we do know that it will have a three rear camera so that means there's going to be three cameras on your device which is which is amazing even though apple is a little behind in time because the new galaxy that just dropped has three cameras i think the pixel the pix pixel 3 has three cameras and if i'm not mistaken i think the hawaii new phone has three cameras so i am definitely here for the three cameras if apple is going to be able to pull this off you guys, I'm looking for a bigger and better battery life on the iPhone 11, a better front-facing camera, glass in the front and the back, also with a metal frame for the edge of the body style of the phone, new colors, and Apple, go ahead and throw in some wireless chargers for your girls and the men in the box since we can't get the AirPods. 
So that is my video for you guys today. I wanted to get you guys' thoughts and opinions. So leave them down below what you guys feel and think about the new iPhone. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and all my social medias. And I love you guys so, so much. And until next time, you guys. I had to hop off the porch and go get it. I went to pick up the torch and then lit it. They tried to tell me I can't, but I did it. When I pull up, bitches look like they shit it. I had to start from the motherfucking bottom.